are good. I had to get the smashed other. I'm releasing my very own book this year. Happy birthday! <laughs> So here's my little David Jones food haul for the next couple of days. Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday and I have a day off from work so I've booked in for brunch at Bentwood in Fitzroy. We're trying somewhere different today so without further ado let's get this video started. And before I leave I thought I'd show you my OOTD so today I'm wearing this top from Kukai. It's a ribbed white tee. I've got this forever new pleated skirt which I bought in my last video and then I'm wearing my Gucci sneakers because this skirt skirt is quite versatile so you can wear it for work with you know a nice closed toe shoe and maybe a bit of a heel or you can wear it with sneakers with flat sandals it's perfect so yeah that's my little outfit of the day now it's time to go and grab a coffee because I definitely need one this morning let me tell you that mum is now taking photos for Instagram as well guys Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the Monday. Bon appetit. This looks so good. I had to get the smashed aloe, so it's time to do it. Brecky and Bentwood I went to Dimmicks in the city and I had a bit of a look around I ended up buying this beautiful book now it was wrapped in plastic so you couldn't actually open it to have a look inside but I'm so glad I got this one it's called Muse with the Moon spark your creativity and self-reflection with the help of the lunar cycle and it looks really fun it looks quite interactive a bit of a workbook I'm really excited to learn more about the lunar cycle because it's something that has always sparked my curiosity so I can't wait to give this one a go. Leave your book recommendations down below guys though because I am always looking for new books to read. Hey it's now around 4 p.m and I'm about to go and visit my family for a Wednesday night dinner. My mum puts on these lovely dinners on a Wednesday. She makes so much food and my nonna always goes which is my paternal grandma my Italian grandmother hence nonna um, and also my brother will be there and I haven't seen him in ages I think since Christmas Day I've caught up with mum and dad since obviously but I haven't seen my nonna and my brother Elliot in so long so I'm really excited to catch up with everyone and have a delicious dinner so that's the plan for the rest of the day but what I've been doing is I've been working on an upcoming project so if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I'm releasing my very own book this year which is so exciting because it's something that's so special to me. I've always wanted to share this particular story of how I got from high school to university and it was quite the journey. I'm not going to spoil it but you know there were a lot of hardships and not just like study related but family related, a bit of trauma that I went through there that I'm ready to talk about and you know put into writing. So yeah this is a really special very authentic, raw, vulnerable story that I'm going to share and I can't wait to put it out into the world so I'm just in the process of organizing printing and packaging so that's on my list for you know this kind of week and then hopefully it'll be out very soon so stay tuned and join my mailing list in the description box below if you want to be the first one to know when it's out so yeah that's my little update for you guys but for now, I'm heading off to dinner at my family's house. Can't wait. The smoke haze is still really bad today. So, you know, people are actually wearing masks outside. It's so hazy and it's actually at a hazardous level. Good morning 
everyone and happy Thursday. It's around 10 a.m. and I'm getting ready to head off to work. So I'm about to make a smoothie to bring with me for the day. And tonight I'm catching up with my friend Jess, who you guys, if you've watched this channel for a while, you will know who Jess is, Moments of Jubilee on YouTube. And yeah, we're going to catch up for dinner, which I'm really looking forward to. So I'm going to bring you along with us. And I just whipped up this smoothie. It's raspberries, banana, it has cacao powder, what else? ABC nut butter, dates, we have almond milk and water. So it comes up to this nice thick consistency and I'm going to bring this to work with me. Dreamy, breezy. Hello, it's been a while since I've been on your channel. Happy birthday. <laughs> Celebratory Vietnamese food. How good does that look? <laughs> It's now the following week, it's Monday morning, and I'm heading down to the gym in my building in my active wear, so it's time to go for a run. I don't feel like that, you know, energetic to go and do that, but I'm just kind of forcing myself, and I know that this is what my body needs, my body, my mind, and my soul, so sometimes... You know, even if your mind is trying to tell you like, don't go to the gym or don't do this, don't do that. And it's something that's important to you. Just do it literally. And I'm not wearing any Nike, but that is the motto for today. But um, yeah, I thought I'd film a little bit before I head to work at 12. So let me show you a bit more of my like morning routine and work routine and include that in this video. I have had the most productive morning. I went for my run. I got my nails done, new color, nice neutral color. I went into the city. I went to DJ's to the food hall and bought all of these beautiful meals so that I'm organized for the week ahead. And what else did I do? And I even managed to grab a coffee. So let me show you my little grocery haul for the week. So here's my little David Jones food haul for the next couple of days. I got these ready-made meals, which I've been loving at the moment. With work, I'm still getting into a routine. So having these in the fridge and just ready to go on hand just makes life so much easier. And they're quite healthy too. I also bought this buffalo ricotta and spinach ravioli. So, so delicious with pasta sauce we've got bananas for my smoothies we have broccoli avocado and more veggies for steaming and serving with dinner as well as the most important item a coffee i feel like i fit in so much this morning i start at 12 today so i'm about to head off but i feel like you know i've really made use of my time and that's something i'm getting better at is utilizing the time that i do have so even if you're really busy i find that waking up early, you know, writing a to-do list and just realizing what's important. Um, that really helps just get on top of things and feel in control of your life. So for me, it's things like, you know, making sure I do the groceries and get my meals organized because if I don't, then I'm going to get home after work and just be like, oh no, what have I done to myself? And by that time, I don't wanna to go to the supermarket. I don't wanna leave my apartment. So you really do have to just be organized, just push through and get as much done as you can. I'm heading off to work now. I've had my coffee, so I'm feeling nice and awake. So let's get going and I'll check back in with you when I finish work. Good morning everyone and happy Thursday. I'm actually going to leave this video here. I know that this week's video has been a bit random. There have been a lot of little bits and pieces scattered around, but I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless. I do try and film as much as I can and I'm slowly getting back into a routine, but I do want to film more, so keep that in mind. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button and come and join the Frenchie fam because the more the merrier and I'll see you in my next video. Have an amazing day because you deserve it. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.